Greetings. This is Stan Usad for the Jesus Entrepreneur Experience, the Christian Entrepreneur Network. We're here to help you as a Christian entrepreneur, as somebody trying to make your mark in the marketplace to do well, to be fully alive, to build a business that uh, matters and makes a difference. And today it's short and simple, so you can just get a touch, get a taste, and begin to think about it. The Super Bowl is coming up, and one of the things everyone does in America, at least a lot of people do, and it, it is the major subject of conversation, is not only are people wondering about the results of the game, but this is where hundreds of companies around the world vie for the opportunity and try to raise the money so they can buy a 60-second or a 30-second Super Bowl commercial. And they're going to try and do their best in 30 to 60 seconds to see if they can't get your attention in such a way that someday after the game or right before the start of the week or sometime during the week after, you'll go out and buy their product. Or at least you'll be thinking about it enough to keep looking and hopefully all of that money and all of that time and energy will be returned and the fact that uh, more and more people will know the name of the company, know what they do, and they will go and pay good money for what that company provides. That's what they're hoping for. Well, today I'm going to give you the major formula, the secret to knowing how to begin to write your own Super Bowl commercial. Because if you want to make your mark in the marketplace today, the modern media is something you're going to have to master. And we'll start doing that right now. This is the Jesus Entrepreneur Experience, What It Takes Radio, the Christian Entrepreneur Network. I'm Stan Houston. And that simple little lesson of about seven minutes begins right now. And we are back. Yes, we're going to keep it short today, just about 10 minutes, because I want to just get you to do something to think about later on. And then on a Friday, we'll carry it through with just a little bit more stuff and then set you up with the story you're going to tell to hopefully uh, take the same things you've learned and start to do it on your website, on your YouTube channel, on your podcast. Yes, fundamental to the work we do at the Christian Entrepreneur Network is we are here to teach you how to learn and how to master the modern media. Master the modern media, which is being used in powerful ways, both for incredible evil and can be used in some ways for some good things and good connections. And how can we, as real uh, redemptors, followers of Jesus, use this stuff in such a way that it is worthwhile, not only for our business and our family and our community, but maybe even for the glory in the kingdom of God? Can we make that happen? I oftentimes teach people and say, if you weren't taught this in your sales training or in your business school, go back and ask for your money back. Here's why. There's a simple formula that's been around for some time. Now, we personally have modified it. So it's the Houston version of what is called the ADA formula. Attention, interest, desire, action. No, that's not good enough. But what I'm going to do is to today try and show you how you begin to make a 30 or 60 second commercial. In fact, it's how you do any sales presentation. In fact, it's how you probably should do every speech. It probably is how I ought to try and do every radio program. Okay, think now if you have a piece of paper 
If you have that proverbial napkin as you're listening in the cafe, get your business card out. If you have uh, something you can write with, pick it out, like I have this fine pen that I always carry that I made because I make pens too. Here we go. A I D D A. Do you know what that means? Let me try and teach you and see if it connects with you. Here's what is true. People are way, way too busy to listen to your message. And there are thousands of commercials out there. There are thousands and thousands of messages trying to get people to pay some notice to them. And they're doing something else and they couldn't care about your product. and They couldn't care about your message. So here's what you have to do. In three to five, maybe seven seconds, if you're good, you have to get their attention. As my friend who was teaching me at the BBC said, uh, Stanley, you know, he said that with a British accent, Stanley, uh, they're doing something else. Stop them. Get their attention. Get them to listen to you. So what has to happen is now think about your commercial. What would you do? Your speech, your 60 seconds to stop them. They're doing something else. They're paying attention to probably something else or they're not paying attention. What can you do to get their attention? And you have about three to five to seven seconds to do it. What kind of sound? What kind of saying? What would you say? What would you speak? What might you show to get their attention? Then quickly, now that you've got their attention, you have to keep them interested. They have to say, oh, hmm, I didn't know that. Oh, I, that, might be, that might be interesting to know. I mean, that might help me. You have their attention. Now you have to quickly, in just a few seconds, you've got to get their interest. Attention, interest. They're paying attention over a longer span and they're connected. Now they're seeing that this might work for me. And then you have to paint a picture to get them to desire something. That would be nice. I would like to do that. Hmm. Can you now, in maybe 30 seconds, what you've got is you've got to get emotional. You have to get connected in such a way that they say, I would like that. That would be good. I'm not only interested, I think I want that. Desire. Then you have to make the deal. You have to call for a decision. Now, President Donald Trump of the United States wrote a book called The Art of the Deal, and he's always trying to teach people how to close the deal. So what you have to do is finally you have to say, this is the deal. This is what you have to do to get the desired things you want, to uh, get the results you want, to get the happiness you want. So it's attention. It's interest. It's desire. It's the deal. This is what you have to do. And if you do that, we'll do this. And then, A, you have to encourage them and show them how to take action. Go to our website. Dial 1-800. Go to your local pharmacy. What kind of action do they have to take? in order to close the deal and for them to get your goods, your services, your experience, and for you to get their money. That was what was all about. You have something worthwhile. They have something worthwhile. It's your goods, services, and product. It is their money and their currency and their ability to pay. And they switch them. Close the deal. Here we go. That's all I'm going to say right now. If you don't know about this, there's more to come. But think about it. Attention, interest, desire, 
decision, action. If you don't know the ADA formula, you don't know how to make a living online in the marketplace in the 21st century. And we need to know how to do just that. And this great service is brought to you by the Christian Entrepreneur Network. I'm Stan Houston. That's all it took. Ada, attention, interest, desire, decision and deal, and action. Now you work on that. You think about that. And now with that in mind, how would you begin to put together your Super Bowl commercial? We would appreciate your help and we'll be telling you more. Once again, tcenglobal.org slash contribute now. We would be grateful. tcenglobal dot org slash contribute now if you have any questions if you'd like to know more radioedge77 at gmail.com radioedge77 at gmail.com thank you for your time your attention the weekend is coming up hopefully for those of you in the cold it's going to be a little bit warmer and we're pressing on the game will be played but deep in our hearts and minds we know that following jesus is the only game that matters. And we're going to continue in our weekend time to worship Him and then in our week to come to follow Him more closely and to love Him you know, more dearly and to understand the power and presence and the wisdom He'll bring to us in our life and business. That's what we're here for and that's what we are all about. Bye for now. Thank you.